You're at the crossroads in your business. Maybe this isn't a road, but it's a path. What path is your marketing going to take on your internet business? Now, I don't care if you're doing a network marketing business, you're trying to sell a widget on the internet, you have to decide which direction you're going to be going in. There's so many different paths. Now, I'm looking out here at a beautiful wildlife reserve in a marsh, and as you can see, the paths can be all over the place. And not everyone is apparent to be able to get to your goal, which may be pay dirt way down there at the end. Sometimes it's a straight path and you see it right away, while other times you have to be sidetracked and as you can see out there in the distance, it goes all over the place, right? But pay dirt's right over there and sometimes, you know, you can see it, but you can't get to it right away. It requires some effort, timing, persistence, belief, all those different things that you've heard so many different times in your maybe going to presentations and from maybe leaders in your business and maybe you know it intuitively but um, you have to really really go in there and decide what path that you want to take to build your business. Now sometimes you take the wrong path and you have to correct yourself. Every once in a while you want to go out Hey you know, guys, every once in a while you want to look up, evaluate where you are, because if you don't do that, you might be, you know, back where you started and you really didn't know it, all right? So you want to evaluate where you are, what direction you're going, where your marketing is taking you, if it's effective or not, do a lot of testing, do split testing all along the way, so that this way you can evaluate whatever you're doing, whatever marketing techniques, technique, that you're doing to build your business. There's so many different ways to get to the promised land in network marketing or online marketing or gifting or whatever you're doing. You just have to find out what's right for you, what's right for your budget, what's right and going to get you results. So the bottom line is results, okay? Results. And sometimes things cost money to be able to put it together, to be able to build your business, obviously. Sometimes you want to do the free stuff, but you know there's, a, there's effort that goes into that as well too. And don't get me wrong, there's a lot of really good free stuff out there, but um, you know, you, what you want to do is reevaluate every once in a while so that this way you can see where you're at, make some changes, some fine tunes. Sometimes you might even have to change a company. You know, or maybe the, sometimes the company changes you, right? The company goes down, goes out of business, or whatever it happens to be. You know, there's a lot of roadblocks that happens along the way. Anybody in network marketing will tell you that if they've been around for a long time, that uh, they probably haven't hit and paid dirt on their first company. Because every company's different. They sell different products. Myself, I started out with a nutritional company. Actually, it was a skincare company, and they also they opened up a nutritional division. I did pretty well with that company, and and uh, started to move along, move up the ranks of being an executive, and so on in that company. Went to the conventions and so on, but eventually. I found that I like things that have more of a margin to it, more profit margin, and I started to develop and go into digital products, software tools, and, and selling items that I felt that were going to get me there faster and give me a higher profit margin as I go to sell them and as I network. So, I mean, that's for me. Uh, many people like nutritional products or energy products or, uh, you know, whatever else they want to sell, and they can identify with that better, and, and uh, that just makes them feel better. So, uh, to each their own. But... How are you going to get there? What tools are you going to use to be able to build your business and to get to where you want to go? To get to where you want to go. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of ways to do it faster than there is slower. Catch you later, guys.